In this video, I'm going to go over governance, risk, and compliance, the hidden secret of the cybersecurity field that you can most definitely get a job in. Now, I have worked in compliance before, and it's not the most glamorous work at all. However, I did learn a lot about networking and what I was working on. It does take a certain type of personality to do GRC. I personally kind of cringe at the word compliance, However, some people, if you're the accounting type or you really like paperwork, making sure everything is in place, then this is for you. I'm more of just like a free-spirited, kind of all over the place person, so compliance is against my very nature. But that being said, a lot of IT professionals do not like compliance, which means it's a great opportunity for someone entering the field. This channel is all about helping you get a job in cybersecurity and tech. Please comment, like, and and subscribe as my cat would really appreciate it. And what exactly is governance, risk, or compliance, or GRC? Governance is basically ensuring that organization goals and IT goals meet the overall business goals. So uh, what a lot of people don't understand in IT is that there is a whole business that pays them and they have operations completely different than tech. If you work in tech, it's a little weird thinking about it, but as a tech worker, you're just supporting other people People who do the real work that produces money. Risk is IT risk management and trying to mitigate different types of risk. And compliance is ensuring that the rules and regulations are being followed and are in guidance to what the organization has set in place or maybe even different laws. So if you work in healthcare, most likely there's someone making sure that the computer systems are in compliance with HIPAA. As for GRC job titles, there are many, as there's no one set standard and always take job titles with a grain of salt because they're really just made up. So some I've seen is compliance analyst, IT auditor, IT risk management, cyber audit analyst, IT auditor, associate, GRC specialist, there are tons. And each one of these jobs, you're really gonna wanna look at the duties. Now this is the most important part because you're gonna see what industry it's in. Some will ask for GDPR, some will ask for HIPAA, some will ask for NIST 800-153, which is a really common one. There are so many, so make sure to look at the duties. Also take the qualifications for these jobs with a grain of salt. There are so many different niches you can go into. You could just go into healthcare, HIPAA, and forever have a job in healthcare. You could go into PCI, which is the payment card industry, huge industry that is not going away anytime soon. You could go into Bitcoin regulations now that they have to follow. So you could go work at Coinbase. There's FedRAMP, there's CMMC, See, there's private sector regulations, federal regulations. I do have a course below that will teach you exactly and goes into more depth of what exactly risk management and compliance is so you can have a better idea of all of the possibilities that exist to you right now. Now, the salary for these audit jobs for entry level early career just varies. I just found a IT audit associate for $50 an hour and it was a remote job. I've seen $90,000 a year and I I would go to actual job postings and see what's out there. And because every company and every industry and every regulation is going to pay differently depending on how many people are trained in that and how kind of desperate they are because I'm sure some of these companies are pretty desperate. So let's go over some job postings that I found. The first one on the list will be the IT audit associate. And this pay, you saw this, it's right here. Like look, $50 an hour, $50. And you only need one year preferred experience. And don't think this is a mistake. This is actually the industry. Some of the tasks and ensure that documents are made available. Like I'm, I'm pretty sure you could probably do that right now with a quick Google search. And also there's always on the job training. They could definitely teach you this in probably like an hour. Here's a tongue twister. Completing audit programs by exercising independent judgment to document observations related to the provided evidence per audit one procedures and client specific considerations. I don't even, wait, what does that mean? It's a lot of jargon. So basically it's just saying you need to use critical 
thinking skills in order to complete your audit work. They want someone with a little bit of common sense, basically. All right, next one. Preparing the draft audit report, completed audit program, and supporting work papers. That, that sounds like you could probably learn it in a day. Why the jargon? So the next one. Communicating with the client during the engagement. I, I'm pretty sure they mean when you're auditing, make sure that you're, tell, you're giving them updates about what you're doing and your findings. Any required follow-up, so you're gonna be answering the phone, making phone calls, sending emails, Emails. I mean, this is not hard stuff. And then here you will occasionally be doing some SOX and FDI CIA testing. So if I was applying for this job, I would make sure to know what those things were. Like I would know everything about those and then somehow make a project based on it and put it on your resume. They're looking for someone with those two specific things. And let's go to the next GRC job and that is risk and compliance analyst. And let's look at this job posting. So the first one is complete vendor and risk assessments and prospective clients. Okay, next is respond to the request for proposals, RFPs, so customer service. Third is perform due diligence. That's important to know. On third party vendors to determine if they're following controls. This job is, I can already tell is a little bit more advanced, right? This is a really good skill to have. Then you want to identify any discrepancies in their system and then if you find anything, you are going to bring it up to management. You're gonna develop, implement, and assign third-party assessments. That's a good one. And then, all right, so this is where the job posting just doesn't make any sense. Then it says you're going to coordinate, execute, and provide support with information security and business projects. That's not auditing. Then you're going to develop and update security policies, procedures, and best practices. I, okay, that can be kind of risk. But here, collaborate with other departments to resolve security related issues and incidences. That's a completely different department. So what they're asking for in this like job posting is, is not just IT risk and compliance analyst. This is like four different jobs. Next, you're gonna perform penetration tests, application and vulnerability assessment scans. This is an entire job. And then you're also, let's go down a little bit, assist in the development, management, and maintenance of the information security awareness program. Again, that's an entirely separate job. Identify security and business risks to senior management and make recommendations for corrective actions and mitigations of risk. That's really high level for an analyst position. I don't like it. Let's go into another one. A cyber and physical security analyst one located in Austin, Texas. The pay is 70 to $90,000. 70 to $95,000 with only one year of experience. And it says preferred, so it's not even a requirement. This is a good job posting. I can already tell. Ability to plan, support, and conduct compliance engagement audits required for security and reliability issues as a subject expert. That makes sense. Ability to develop accurate, concise reports and presentations. All right. Strong verbal and written communication skills. Fantastic. If you have customer service, you have that. Knowledge of physical security, so Maybe you worked as a security guard, you're already ahead of the game. Network infrastructure and security related tools such as whitelisting, IDSs, IPSs, anti-malware, baselining, things of that sort. All of this you can learn in Security Plus, by the way. I do have a really good course below from Udemy to learn this, check that out. This is a fantastic job posting. And let's go into like the education requirements. Now you don't need a degree in this field. Maybe for some of those jobs, it would have been useful. However, there are tons of different jobs and even though they say they do require a bachelor's degree it doesn't mean you have to have one you can definitely go for some of those certs and then create some projects and then have a killer good resume to get one of these jobs so you want to go through a lot of these job postings and just look at the requirements and look at common certifications that come up and then look at common regulations that come up and then see what you can do to study for these regulations. A common organization would be the ISACA uh, organization and this is all about compliance and 
auditing. They have tons of different certifications, including entry level ones. Although the entry level ones, I don't really see a lot being requested. Tons of upward mobility if you want to stay in this field, if you like it. And if you don't like it, it's also a good stepping stone to something that you do like. Definitely gets your foot in the door. There's some tips to getting a job in auditing. Try to see if you have an ISACA chapter in your place of living. You can start prepping for the CISA exam, which is a well-requested certificate. Not entry level though, so you may be a little bit overwhelmed. A good way just to get a feel, I don't know where you live, is just go through a whole bunch of job postings and then do some pattern recognition and find things that just repeat over and over and over and then figure out how you can learn those skills. Some of the common skills required that I did see would be the working knowledge of operating systems, web applications, penetration testing, networks, the whole shabam. And then of course, you're gonna need to know core concepts of IT, things like patch management, system administration, ITIL, and those can all be acquired fairly quickly. Thank you for watching. Check out all of my other videos on how to get a job in cybersecurity. What other things would you like to see? Post below. Thanks for watching. Bye.